Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I do unboxings, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but a variety of other categories as well, including stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, travel, home decor, and even the very occasional dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings, particularly subscription boxes, I do hope that you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell, and that way you'll find out whenever I post new videos, which is usually at least once a day, if not twice, whenever I announce giveaways and there's always a secret password giveaway going on as my way of saying thank you to my subscribers for watching my videos and of course whenever I go live. As always, if you're already subscribed, thank you so much for being here and welcome back. Today I have the July My Ireland box to share with you. It has been sent to me for review all the way from Dingle, Ireland. This monthly box is $49.95 per month plus $15.50 in shipping. Again, all the way from Ireland to us here in the States. Obviously, if you go online, you can get a discount if you're able to do a multi-month subscription. I have a code for you. It is Maui, M-A-U-I. That is the island that I am from, and that will save you $5, but always check out the website first because often she has a great deal going on or a free gift with purchase. And if you ever see any products or companies that you're interested in getting your hands on, definitely also check out their online shop where you can get some of those products and even more than what is featured in these delightful boxes each month. So let's go ahead and get into it. This box is pretty heavy this month, so I feel like we have a lot of goodies from Catherine. Now she does always put together a lovely booklet that not only tells us about the products, but also what's going on in Ireland, sometimes some history lessons as well, but it is usually at the bottom of the box. So just has this bright green tissue paper. I think that that sticker is usually sealing the tissue paper, but everything gets kind of jostled on its way to me here in California, so usually that is already torn but like I said I'm gonna go ahead and pull all of the items out ahead of time so that I can get down to that booklet so I can tell you all about the makers there is so much content in the booklet every month there's no way that I could read it all to you and kind of keep these videos under 20 minutes but I will definitely share as much as I can about the makers Wow, we have a lot of contents this time around you guys lots of beautiful items to take a look at so first let me show you the recipe because there is always a monthly recipe it usually comes on a a pretty big card so that you can be enticed and inspired by the image. Those look good, do they not? So this is Catherine's Healthier Porridge Oat Scones, and it looks like we may have gotten one of the ingredients and something to go along with this recipe in the box. I'm anxious to read about that. So I have been trying to collect all of my, my Ireland box recipes, and one of these days, you guys, I will try to make some more of them and show you maybe over on Instagram. Here is our booklet. So let me just see where I'm gonna put everything as we get into it. So the theme for July is waking up in Ireland. It would be so lovely if that was your morning view, would it not? I think it would be fantastic. So a pretty thick booklet. I don't know if you can actually see on nice glossy pages, but again, she does write these beautiful letters that are punctuated by gorgeous images. This month, it looks like a lot of green. So love that, of course. Um, I would love to visit Ireland again and maybe in the summer months instead of the fall when I was there the first time. So aside from her letter, we also have a section about ancient traditions in Ireland during the month of July. The Bully season, there is a picture of some cows meandering on a street, which is pretty cute. And then in the back here, we have this section that says, let's meet the makers. And again, she does include a lot of information about all the makers, but I will try to uh, read as much of it as I possibly can to you while also showing you the items. So they also have a very active Facebook group. So if you ever are interested in joining, whether or not you're currently subscribed, it is really a fun place to be. And often people have great ideas for how to use the items as well. So let's go ahead and start with probably the uh, largest item that was also down here at the bottom. It looks to be a cutting board or a wall hanging, which is lovely. It's a very smooth wood. So it says, every day is a blessing, love from Ireland. And then of course it has these uh, shamrocks along the border. And it is all etched in there. So I think if you were going to use it as a cutting board or serving tray, I would probably use the blank side instead so that you don't get any food stuffs in those little cracks. And also you just keep it really pretty. It does 
does have that loop there or it has that um, hole there so you could hang it on the wall on a nail or of course you could use this little ribbon to keep it hung up but pretty lightweight nice little size for like a little personal charcuterie platter if you wanted to do that but again I would probably use the reverse side so this is from Caulfield Country Boards it says I love this saying every day is a blessing and I've sent a special print to members in the past with this written on it how lovely to read it every morning on your new chopping board I was reminded of this poem also that I would like to share with you so let me read the poem to you it is also called Blessings by Francis Harvey. Yesterday, for some reason I couldn't understand, I suddenly felt starved of tress. I think trees. I think it's supposed to be trees. I felt starved of trees and had to make tracks towards the beaches of Lof Est to set my heart at ease and stand there slowly adjusting myself to the overwhelming presence of all those trees. It was like coming back among people again after living for ages alone. And as I reached out and laid my right hand in blessing on the trunk of a beach that had the solidity but not the coldness of stone, I knew it for the living thing it was under the palm of my hand as surely as I know the living sensuousness of flesh and bone and my blessing was returned a hundredfold before it was time for me to go home. So just communing with nature, a little uh, forest bathing, that's what that poem seems to be about. And of course that's so lovely that it goes along with that idea of blessing and then also this like tree, this piece of Ireland that you can have in your own hands. It says Caulfield Country Boards is a family affair comprising a joiner, a philosopher, and geologist baker. Caulfield joinery was established in 1978 by John Caulfield, the original joiner. Percy Caulfield and the, jo the joiner philosopher joined the family business at a young age. He completed an apprenticeship in joinery and also studied a BA in philosophy. Louise Caulfield, the geologist baker, studied a BA in geology and an MSc in environmental science. She lived in Western Australia while working in the mining industry. She returned home in 2011 and the keen baker called upon the joinery to make a few wooden boards for displaying baked goods. And so Caulfield Country Boards was born. Seen a niche in the market for locally crafted wooden cutting and serving boards, Caulfield Country Boards rose to the task and focused on creating the most magical products from beautiful, sustainable wood. All of their creations are designed and made in Carneros County, Meath, Ireland, from sustainably sourced, let me turn the page, Irish hardwoods, which include ash, beech, just like in the poem, elm, and walnut. We wanted this wording on something nice that you could use in the morning, and we thought of Caulfield. It looks lovely, and I adore the shamrock details, and of course, the perfect morning message on Irish wood. So that is lovely. So it says Irish connection on the tag. I'm wondering what the uh, wood is. It says crafted from hardwood beach to keep your board in tip top condition, oil regularly with mineral oil and do not soak or dishwash. So important to remember to keep your wood from getting kind of rough and splintery. So lovely an item to start with um, and a family affair it sounds like. So let's go ahead and open up the next item that goes with our Irish morning theme, which is something that has appeared in several My Ireland boxes before. It is berries tea but of course this is a slightly different flavor it says some members have been asking for caffeine free tea so I'm sending you the one that I drink literally all day I often pour myself two hot drinks in the morning a strong coffee and at the same time I have the lemon and ginger cooling down to drink afterwards not only do I find lemon and ginger a lovely drink taste wise but it's also good for a treat at nighttime this is perfect as it has a nice sweetness to it I would fill up the cup a few times using the same tea bag throughout the day whilst I work a lovely way to rehydrate I boil my kettle at 60 to 70 degrees so that's just right to sip when I want it straight away so I'm delighted to share this with you I hope you love lemon and ginger as much as I do so relaxing and tasty too I love lemon and ginger as a flavor although I do usually prefer caffeinated tea for that little extra kick it says Barry's tea was founded in 1901 by James J Barry grandfather of current chairman Peter Barry Barry's certainly is an institution not only in Cork but nationwide in fact worldwide really they say that they spent their years perfecting their blends that have been passed on through generations of the berry family berries proudly s say to all that since the beginning our master blender has never compromised in his absolute commitment to fine quality tea master blender Dennis Daly has been blending our teas for nearly 40 years and tastes our blends three times a day to ensure that every moment you spend with our tea is as rewarding as the last he must be a tea lover so it says you're drinking tea from one of Ireland's favorite makers that's for 
for sure. This also sounds like it would make a lovely iced tea in all honesty and it is 20 tea bags which I definitely appreciate because you guys know I get a lot of loose leaf tea but sometimes there's something so much easier about just using a tea bag. So then we got something from Foods of Athenry. So this is interesting. So we got a couple of breakfast bars, Irish oak granola bars, and we did get two of them. So this is nice. So one to share and one to, to have on your own so you don't uh, have one and then wish you had another. So it says, I buy these loaded breakfast bars very often, especially to grab when I'm hungry or to give the kids in the morning if they're running out the door and have not eaten enough. I'm so glad to share one of my morning fancies with you. Behind the foods of Athenry is an enthusiastic farm family, like many farm families, baking delicious, healthy food for their own kitchen table, driven by necessity, but rooted in tradition. And then here's a quote. It says, our story started with family and those traditions are our core. If a discovery is said to be an accident meeting a prepared mind, then we took what life threw at us back in the early 2000s, uncertain future in agriculture, childhood health problems, which influenced a lifelong interest in the relationship of food versus health, and set up a bakery business in which there was no room for any artificial food additives. And so we sold the cows in 2004 and the bakery moved into the now empty milking parlor. The Foods of Athenry was born and should you believe in the mysteries of the universe, my grandparents owned one of the largest bakeries in the west of Ireland almost a hundred years ago. There's tradition in my fingertips and the magic in my hands and that is from Shaban. That is a great story. I love that. Um, I, those look delicious though. Those look like a really great snack so I'm excited about that. We got something from the Irish Sock Society out of Galway. This is fun and you guys know I am not a big whimsical sock person but these are pretty cute. It's got this like farmhouse with some sheep and cows and then you can see on the other side there are some more cows and a little like winding um, rock wall. Very very cute. It does say that the size is three, 3 through 7 or 36 through 40 so it says on the sole of your feet ba and moo. So I think there's, there's actually something written on the soles of the feet. That's really cute. I will have to open that up later. It says, we sent a tote bag from this company to members way back in 2013. They've renamed themselves since then and mainly sell these really amazing socks, but it was a blast from the past to work with Alex and Joanna again. Alex and Joanna say it best. It says, we feel that feet have lots to say and to help them talk, we design colorful and funny socks here in Galway on the west coast of Ireland in the middle of the beautiful wild Atlantic way. We are best friends who dance, laugh, and work together in any order really as it usually happens all at once. We're the kind of people who usually wear baggy black or gray clothes, but socks, socks are very special to us. We choose them very carefully, sometimes odd socks, sometimes patterned or themed, and always lots of color. That's why designing socks is what we're passionate about. Our socks brighten up any occasion from boring business meeting to a wonderful wedding, lunch with family, or party with mates. We truly love our socks and are proud of their quality. We also obsess about detail. We could tell you about how the machines we use accept only 100% combed cotton, certified Ecotex, and machine and waffle on describing all the fancy 168 needle machine construction works precisely to create every sock uniquely strong and very soft. But you would have stopped reading by now. There is a lot more, you guys. It says, put it this way. Remember the first time you got brand new clothes, like not hand-me-downs? That's what these socks feel like. We don't offer one-size socks because otherwise your significant other would borrow, steal, or lose them. We want to make sure that they will fit well on every possible shape and size. From bunion to bundrench, Irish sock societies are are reinforced from heel to toe so you can wear them with wellies or vintage brogues. Our socks won't slide down your foot come hell or high water. If it's feet you have, these are the socks you're after. Sustainability is at the core of everything we do. It applies to our personal lives as much as to our business. Since day one, we have ensured that our products are made of non-harmful materials, made of certified Ecotex cotton, and come in recyclable packaging. This is something that is deeply rooted in our hearts and we don't compromise on it. We believe that sustainability should be in our hands and on our feet. Sharing is caring as they say and even though we are a small business we do let me read the rest to you guys because we've gone this far right it says we do our best to support those in need one foot at a time we are proud to be working with the irish cancer society on their daffodil day socks father's day socks and are hoping that hashtag walking all over cancer campaign will help many our socks flew to barcelona with the inspiring irish paralympic hockey team everyone could learn a lot from this amazing team inspired by the amazing story of galway autism partnership we came up with the socks which we believe express that what is unique is wonderful and then it says again hashtag this is class so they are pretty darn cute. I think they are adorable. I'm not sure that I will use them because you guys know I don't wear a lot of shoes and socks, but I think these are awesome. So 
Speaking of that item that I thought we might be able to use in the recipe from Catherine, we got some Kilbegan Irish Oats. It says, I love a good family business and you know from the April My Ireland box that the Lawler family make great food. The fact that their oats are organic really floats my boat. In 1999, Pat Lailer decided to convert the entire farm to organic status. This means that the oat crop is grown in soil that is enriched and sustained by good farming practice and they do not use pesticides, herbicides, or artificial fertilizers when growing their oats. You'll eat your delicious bread as nature intended. All you need to do is add a tub of natural yogurt, a dash of milk, and place in a hot oven for a loaf of healthy organic porridge bread. Yay! This farm has passed down through six generations of the Layla family, beginning in 1844. The first records of the Layla family farming here in Ballard date back to 1844. Since then, generations of Laylers have uh, farmed the land, and the current team's mission is to preserve the land by farming in a responsible manner, leaving the soil in as good a condition as they inherited it. I absolutely adore this bread. It's my new favorite and is so easy to make. So I guess maybe we make the uh, recipe on the back. Yes. So it is actually an organic uh, porridge bread mix, super seed mix. So it's not just oats. It actually is a mix for a specific bread. So I love getting mixes because that takes a lot of the work out of it. And then maybe to go along with said bread, we got something from a company we have definitely seen in my Ireland boxes before. It is from the Big Red Kitchen. It is rhubarb and ginger jam. That sounds so good, you guys. It says, oh, how I adore rhubarb jam with that gorgeous ginger joy to make those taste buds tingle. I run out the door most mornings with some baked bread and rhubarb and ginger jam. It's a summertime, it's summertime personified. I do add some peanut butter too, by the way. Enjoy this with your bread that you're about to bake. I love the odiness of the bread with the taste of the rhubarb and ginger. Nicola began making jam as a hobby a few years ago, helped by neighbor Pat Clark of Clark's Fresh Fruit. I distributed as a Christmas gift in my first year. It says, my great grandmother made jam many years ago and entered county fair competitions along with her daughters. And I remember making jam with my aunt when I visited Navon on holidays as a child. I got a great response from people for the jam I made and my partner suggested I try selling the product at local craft fairs. The environmental health department came out to inspect and approve her home kitchen. And she started attending craft fairs and farmers markets in nearby counties. Local Local cafes and now her jams, curds, and chutneys are in high demand all around Ireland. I think we might have gotten a lemon curd once. It was so good, you guys. And then finally, this box had so much stuff in it, did it not? We got, of course, a book. We get books in my Ireland boxes quite often. This one is a cute little pocket uh, wit and wisdom. Uh, so it's from Gill Books. It says, I thought that this was such a lovely little book to have in the kitchen in the morning whilst you eat your breakfast and enjoy your tea. What better way to start the day than with some good advice from the Irish? You will surely find a gem that will lead you on a happy path for the day. There are so many pages that made me smile or laugh out loud. I certainly enjoy mine now that it's to hand. It says, I would love it if you shared your favorite pages, perhaps in August, on the Facebook group. So how lovely you guys. It definitely creates that idea of a lovely slow morning with your fresh baked Kilbegan Irish Oats uh, organic porridge bread mix, the super seed mix. So we got that. We can have that on our um, with rhubarb ginger jam. So good. And of course, with some lemon ginger tea, of course, you can display that um, on your lovely cutting board. I probably won't put it on the cutting board, maybe on the reverse side. Maybe I just won't cut anything on the board. And then you can put on your beautiful new socks to go out for the day, maybe on a walk. And if you need a little bit of a pick me up and a little bit of reminiscence about your lovely oat bread, then you can have these Irish oat granola bars. They are fully loaded. So I thought this was lovely. It definitely created a theme. It definitely created a whole meal. I'm very much looking forward to enjoying that. Hopefully I can put some of that together to show you guys over on Instagram, which is what I love to do. She does give us a little spoiler for the next box for August. It's going to be themed summer days in Ireland. So summer is not over. It says, we love to bring you an experience with our curations. And of course, via my booklet to transport you to somewhere is what I wish to achieve to allow your senses and mind to be brought to Ireland. We bring you to country days during the summer in Ireland, a time where the fuchsia is in bloom. The kids are splashing in the water at the beach. We eat sticks of rock. We have sandy feet. We pick shells. We hear laughter all around. Irish music fills the street from the local pubs. Feet are tapping within. So much more. I cannot wait for you to experience it. So if that doesn't entice you, I don't know what will. Um, I am very excited to make some bread. Hopefully it is super duper easy. It sounded like it was only a few things to have to add. Of course, it's all in like grams. So I'm going to have to figure out what the conversion is for that, the natural yogurt and the whole milk. 
have to have to get both of those ingredients but I think I will manage hopefully I will manage I hope you all enjoyed this video if you did please help me out by giving it a thumbs up if you are interested in learning more about Ireland if you have Irish heritage or you just love things from amazing makers from abroad then definitely check out this box and I will see you all very very soon in my next unboxing